We're going to do a full walkthrough ship tour on the Carnival Sunshine. Carnival has taken refurbishment on this ship to a whole new level. It's a great ship. It's got a wonderful area for water slides in the back and an excellent serenity area for adults in the front. If you have any questions about booking a cruise on the Carnival Sunshine, please give us a call. Our number is down below. Or if you want to check out upcoming cruises, go to cruisesit.com. So we're going to start off here at the sports deck. Right up those stairs is the putt-putt golf course. Got the basketball court and above us is the ropes course with a foosball and pool tables. It's a pretty active sports deck. A lot of things going on. Kids love this rope course by the way. They'll stay up there all day and go around and around and around and around. If you can think of any questions that you want to know about cruising or the Carnival Sunshine, please let us know in the comment section down below. So we're here on the back of the ship and we're going to work our way around the back of the ship. Um, we're going to take a look at the waterworks play area. And uh, they have two slides where kids race, which they really enjoyed. They would go up and go over and over and over again and try to race each other. The slides are really tall too. It's surprising they can put slides so big on a cruise ship. And there's a little splash area where little kids go down the little slide there. And so, like I said, we're in the back of the ship and we're going to make our way to the front of the ship toward the pool area. First, we're going to stop by the Circle C area. This is the teen area for kids. And right across here is Camp Carnival. I always recommend introducing your kids to Camp Carnival in the beginning of the cruise because they meet a lot of friends and it's fun. They have a great time. Uh, the hard part is getting them to leave Camp Carnival. If you have any questions about booking a cruise on the Carnival Sunshine or any other cruise, please give us a call. All the cruise lines now recommend travel agents to book your cruises. You don't pay any more. And in most cases, we can even get you a discount because we know how to look for them. If you've already booked through Carnival, that's okay. Still give us a call. We can still monitor the cruise for you. And if the cruise goes down, we can get you a better price. So right here is the main pool area. So we're overlooking the pool. Uh, we're overlooking the uh, Red Frog Pub right there on the right. And in the, in the background there is the Serenity area. One thing I really liked about this ship is that in the back of the ship is kind of the sports area, the kids area. Um, in the middle right here uh, is an area for everybody. Uh, you have the, uh, like I said, the Red Frogs uh, Pub, and you have the Blue Iguana Tequila uh, Bar, and you also have the main pool. But right up here, you have the Serenity area, which is only for adults. And is what's really neat about the Serenity area here is that it overlooks the main pool area. So the Serenity area has a, a really good view of what's going on on the ship. And they have a nice pool, they have a nice bar. Right here it overlooks the main pool area. You have the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar on the right, the Red Frog Pug on the left. So it's just, a, it's just a really neat area. And so, as what I was saying before is the way that the ship is set up, the back of the ship is almost for, let's say, kids, and the front of the ship is for adults. So this ship is good for everybody. It doesn't really matter what age you are. I mean, it's good for adults because it has a huge adult area with everything that, that you would want in an adult area, a pool, jacuzzi, a bar. 
Um, it overlooks the main uh, pool, so there's all sorts of things to look at and watch, and you know you can enjoy the DJ while he's singing, or while he's uh, you know whatever spinning, whatever they do, and uh, you know just everything else that's going on. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the Lido deck now. And uh, let's take a look at the Lido deck. So we're going to walk into the main pool area. You see we have two jacuzzis on either side. We have the big TV where they're going to have movies and, and all kinds of things going on throughout the cruise. Right here we have the Reg Frog Pub. Behind us was the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And right here is Guy's Burger Joint, it's, which, which serves excellent hamburgers. And they have a uh, toppings bar right behind me. We just walked past. And here we're going to go by the Blue Iguana Cantina. This is a Mexican uh, style buffet where they have tacos, they have a salsa bar, burritos. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. Hanging out by the pool and you have burgers on one side and tacos and burritos on the other. And here's the buffet area. I was surprised. I was surprised about how nice it was. You know, the nice tile, the nice decorations. It just, it just felt like a nice place to be. The buffet area is huge. They have a sweet spot, which has all sweets. Um, they had a country kitchen which had all chicken fried steak gravy potatoes uh, they have the, the pizza um, place where they I mean th this place is open 24 hours a day you can come and order a pizza anytime you want salad bar and if you're a, if you're a first-time cruiser if you've never cruised before you know this is all included in your cruise as well as room service so Here's a fresh deli where you can get a uh, uh, fresh sandwich. They had great Rubens, by the way. And uh, here's a, a, a kind of do-it-yourself beer dispenser where you just slide your card and get a beer. Now we're going to go back here to the uh, Havana bar. And here in the Havana bar you have uh, two restaurants you have the GG um, Asian restaurant and uh, right over here you have Cucino uh, del Capitano which is uh, Italian food <clears throat> a lot of people were lined up here um, the food smelled delicious and this is this is the first day of the cruise so people are already digging in and, and starting to enjoy themselves now we're gonna go back here and kind of like, as if we were walking into the Havana bar. And you can see the tile, uh, the tile floor and the furniture. And now we're at at the very very back of the ship so where they're gonna have they're, there's gonna be a band right here playing um, every single night and uh, sometimes in the day which overlooks you know the ocean so imagine coming here at night uh, for a drink or during the day while you're at sea listening to some music and just enjoying yourself so we're going to head down to deck three. We're dropping down from the Lido deck. And we're going to arrive right here in the atrium. So we're going to start off from the front of our, the ship. And we're going to work our way to the back of the ship. So to the left here is guest services. 
to the right is the atrium. Uh, there's a bar right in the middle. Right across the other side of the bar, that's, that's the entrance where you come in from. This right here is one of the main restaurants that we're gonna go into. This is the Sunset Restaurant. And the way the dining works is that you have two seating times, usually 6.30 and 8.30. Or you can choose to do the your time dining, which you could dine between 5.45 and 9.30 and you just walk in. And I'm going to show you the uh, other restaurant that's in the back of the ship. This is the Sunrise Restaurant. So let's go up to deck four. And we're going to start in the back of the ship again. And I'm sorry, the front of the ship and work our way to the back. This is the Liquid Lounge. So this is where all the shows and Theatrics are going to be the magician show, uh, dance show, all different kind of shows throughout the cruise. So here to the left is the atrium again. We're one floor up. And here we have the library bar. What's neat about this bar is that they have a wine dispenser, just like the beer dispenser in the buffet area, that you just swipe your uh, card and it dispenses a glass of wine for you. So we're gonna go in here to the steakhouse. Here is the piano bar. And right across from Fahrenheit Steakhouse is the Bonsai Sushi. And here's a lounge area. They're also going to have shows here. Now we're on the promenade deck, deck five. And right here is all the uh, fun shops. Overlooking the atrium again. So we're going to make our way again from the front of our, the ship to the back of the ship. So we're basically just taking it by deck, deck by deck. We've seen deck three from the front to the back, deck four, and now we're on deck five. And we have a little game area. And let's cruise through the casino. And right here they have a shake shop where you can get a uh, chocolate shake or they also have coffee, a little internet cafe. 
And right here to the right is the taste bar where you can have hors d'oeuvres uh, throughout the day. And here is the Red Frog Pub. This is a, a really cool place to come um, after you uh, get, get back from port because uh, they're going to have a band. So uh, it's, a, it's a really nice place to come after you have dinner and just relax and listen to some music. And yes, there are two Red Frog pubs on this ship. There's one on the Lido deck and there's one down here. And we're gonna go in here to Cloud Nine Spa. Here you can get a massage, a facial. They have the gym, the steam room, the saunas. Manicure, pedicure. A great steam room and then after you get a little overheated you can come over here and lay down and kind of look over the ocean have a coffee room and that's the tour I hope you enjoyed it my name is Jason Newquist with cruisesit.com any questions you may have about booking a cruise give us a call